Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of Pilates on the gym ball. I hope you enjoy part 1 if you have already tried that. Today, we are going to focus a little bit more on our core muscles and on strengthening the butt and the thighs. Alright, let's get started. In the first video, we spoke about the right position of the body on the ball. You don't want to be sitting too far back, otherwise you'll lose your balance. You want to be seated a little bit more to the front with a little bit of your thighs exposed. All right, so let's begin here. We're going to start with our pelvic tilt first. So lengthening your spine, breathing in. Exhale, curl the tailbone forward and release. And gently again, curling. Breathe in and exhale. Inhale, just warming up the lower back, bringing a little bit of activation to your obliques. Five. Now from here, open the legs a bit wider. We're gonna do some hip circles. We're gonna shift side and circle for one and two. As you're doing your hip circles, everyone, try to keep your upper body stable and try to isolate the work from the waist and down. And let's reverse, going the other way around. One. And two, and three, keeping your body upright, and four, and five. Now coming back to the center, straighten up your back for a moment, bring your legs back into parallel guys, and I'd like you to focus on marching on the spot. So from here, we're going to bring your fingertips out to the side and gently press into the ball, tighten your core muscles and wrap it up and tight, and lift that one leg down, two, down, three, down, four. So start a little bit quicker first and as you get more comfortable, we're going to start to slow down and reach and it gets a lot harder on your core muscles and your balance as you slow down the movement and up. You need to think of pulling up your body as much as you can. Reach, Oof. seven, Eight, one more to go, nine, and ten. Now from here, take a breath in, bring your hands out to the side here, and just lift up one leg and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Place it down and change. Carefully find your balance, reach out your hands, and lift up the other leg and hold for five. You can stretch your legs out as well if you want to. Three, four, five. Breathe in and release it down. Now from here, I'm going to get you to open your legs a bit wider here. Turn up your thighs and then slowly shift your weight side to side just to warm up your inner thighs a little bit more. And reach. Make sure that your toes and your knees are pointing outwards. And reach. Focus on stretching the knees one at a time. And reach. And continue to push side to side, keeping your spine upright. And reach from here. Let's add a side bend. We're going to bend the knees now and then reach yourself down into one side. Inhale, shift the weight back to the center, shifting to the other side and stretch. And inhale back to the center. Now lengthening up and over. And breathe in back to the center. Now shift to the other side and stretch and centering your body. One more to go and lengthen up and breathe in. And last one to the opposite side and stretch and come back to the center. Rest and walk your legs all the way back to the middle. Now from here, we're going to move on into our bouncing. Now I'll, I'll just add a little bit of bouncing here guys so that it gets your cardio up a little bit. And you're going to get some nice fun way of finding your balance as you're doing your bounce, okay? So I'm going to do this sideways so that you can see me better. So I'm going to just shift it here and this is how it's going to look like. Okay, my spine is upright. I'm just going to push my butt down to get the bounce upwards, okay? Making sure that the top of my head is reaching up. Okay, and if I'm comfortable, I'm going to get a little bit more lift of my legs off the ground. So something like this, push off. Alright, just do that for a few more seconds, getting comfortable. Now for those of you who are comfortable, let's do a bit of jumping jack with the legs. Okay, open and close and open and close and open and close. 
and open now double time and open close open close open close keep your tummy muscles tight and open close and seven now you're gonna add the hands if you want to and open close open close keep your spine in neutral open close open close keep it going one more set to go and open close open close breathe in shall we do one more let's make it four sets and three and two and one and slow it down good well done everyone and that was your warm-up now let's move into our core muscle work here i'd like you to come onto your knees now for the next one place your elbows now on the ball now i'd like you to watch this carefully guys you don't want it to be too far forward first for now you want your elbows to be a little bit exposed at the beginning so that when you roll your body forward into your plank you have space for your tummy muscles or for your hips to come down without resting onto the ball this way all right let's start again from the top so starting with your fingertips on the ball we're going to roll yourself forward now keep your elbows underneath your shoulders hold it there stay in your plank position for a few seconds tightening your core muscles and then to return we're going to shift your hips back and then roll back up do that again breathe in as you press your weight into the ball set your shoulders back and bring your hips down hold that plank position breathe in and out stay eyes are looking front and then from here shift your hips back and roll yourself up let's do three more times breathe in press in and hold now even for those of you who are able to do this with your knees off i'd like you to do this variation first okay because this variation focuses on your hip muscles a lot more and your core control before you progress to the next stage and return and release let's do two more times breathe in press your forearm into the ball lengthen your neck muscles as you bring your hips down into your half plank position stay take some time to let your core muscles activate a little bit more stabilize shift your hips back and release it back one more to go guys breathe in and next here we're gonna hold it there push down on your arm keep your shoulders away from your ears now are you ready everyone we're gonna tuck your toes under this is where we progress together okay we're gonna set your shoulders first and lift the knees up one hold two three lower the knees down do not move yourself from this position and again lift up hold two three and lower the knees down make sure your tummy muscles are supporting you and go pick it up and hold two three and lower the knees down two more sets to go guys and go raise it up and hold two three and gently place your knees down last one and go pick up the bottom the knees and stabilize your entire core now hold it there for 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four three two one and lower the knees now shell stretch now sit back onto your hips and reach the ball forward take a deep breath in and exhale to roll yourself up and straighten good job guys let's move into our buttock muscles and our hamstrings now I'd like you to place the ball to one side lie down on your back and then start with your legs on top of the ball this way good now from here we're gonna begin first with the ball underneath your knees and your arms are open to the side here so I'd like you to dig your ankles into the ball to pull it close to your thighs now very gently rotate the ball side to side breathe in and exhaling two <laughs> breathe in and exhaling three this is truly home pilates guys where your pets are here to disturb you four <laughs> and back stay there cody and five and return and again six and center keeping your shoulders on the ground reaching the ball side to side and last one and side and come back to the center now from here everyone i'd like you to stabilize your body here take a breath in and then slowly walk your ankles to the ball now from here we're going to stay in parallel 
we're going to stretch the legs out and press your calves into the ball. Raise your bum up. Hold it there for a moment. And then slowly lower the hips down in neutral. Bend your knees. Let's do that five times. Stretch and raise. And lower and bend. And push. And raise up. And lower down and bend. Two more to go. Four. And raise up. And lower down and bend. One more to go. And five. Engaging your glutes as you lift and hold it there. And lower the hips down and bend. Now from here, if you guys are comfortable, we're going to progress to the next one. I'd like you to take a deep breath in here and slowly turn out your legs. Finding your balance. Okay, we're going to do a little plie on the ball. So from here, we're going to breathe in, stretch your legs out, lift up. Your legs are still in turn out. Now maintain the balance of your hips, bending the knees in and stretching the legs out. Bending for two and exhale to stretch. Breathe in for three, exhale to stretch. Maintaining the height of your hips and stretching the legs out. And a five and stretch. And a six and stretch. Keep going. And a seven and push away. And eight and stretch. Let's do two more. Nine and stretch and ten and hold it there for a moment. Now lower your bum down, bend your knees and recover. Let's do the same thing with your legs in parallel. Okay, so you're gonna wrap your balls of the feet on the ball. Good morning. Just go one side for a while, okay? <laughs> Mummy's working. Now from here, I like you to stabilize your body, push the legs out. Lift the bum up, okay? Make sure you find your balance. Now keep the hips as stable as you can and then bend the knees and push it out. And two, and push. Lengthen your waistline as much as you can and reach. And four, and push. And five, your arms can be by the side of your body. And six, open wider if you need more balance. Seven, and push and eight let's do two more times guys i'm feeling it in my calves and my hamstrings and ten and hold it there lift your bum a little higher lower your hips down and bend your knees in how are you guys doing so far you're right so we're going to progress to an advanced one for the hamstrings okay this is going to be a little bit harder but try your best we're going to open the legs a bit wider now to hip distance, okay? And then from here, arms are going to be open a bit more to 45 degrees. Stretch the legs out again. Lift up the bum and hold your balance. Now from here, as I bend my knees, I lift my butt higher. Your hamstring curl. And lower the hips as I stretch my legs. And again, as I bend my knees, I push my bum up and slowly lower down. And again, lift the hips up three and stretch and lower and push up four and lower down a lot more work on your hip extensors five and stretch and six and stretch and seven shall we try one more time guys and up a little bit more and lower the body down slowly rest your hips down and recover well done everyone we're done with the buttocks for now, but we're going to go into your inner thighs now. Alright, so I'd like all of you now to give yourself a bit more space behind you, right? because you'll be swinging the ball over. Now from here, we're going to just get the legs to the outside of the ball. And then from here, we're going to hold the ball steadily in the air. And this is your starting position, okay? So sorry, before we do that, make sure that you are tilted in the pelvis, your abs are tight before you lift the legs up in the air. Here we go. From here, we're going to breathe in, curl up your body, hold it there. Now from here, exhale, stretch the legs out. One, and bend. And two, a lot of inner thighs and core work. Three, breathe in. Four, inhale. Five, breathe in. Six, and in. Seven, breathe in. Eight, Good, last two, nine, 
One more to go. Ten now from here, everyone raise the ball up. Grab the ball with your hands. Lower the legs down, lower the ball behind you. Now curl up, lift up, give the ball back to your legs and then lower the ball down, reach your upper body back. Now curl up again, grab the ball and then lower the legs and the ball simultaneously. Curl up, get the ball between your feet again, lower the body back down and five. And slowly lower back and curl up, grab between the legs, lower back down and seven and reach breathe in and switch and lower down let's do two more and back last one and reach and then lower it all the way down hold it there for a while Whew. breathe in and out we're almost done guys bend your knees again we got one more for your inner thighs here now take the ball back between your ankles again. I know it's tiring, okay? Hang in there. Arms are gonna be to the side here. And all I need to do is just do a little rotation to the side, to side, all right? Cody boy, hang in there. And side, to side, okay? Keeping your shoulders on the ground and just working your obliques a little bit more, okay? Keeping your inner thighs engaged. Good. How are you guys doing so far? You all right? And reach. Okay, just three more sets, side, centre, side, last two, side, centre, side, shoulder stays on the ground, and side, centre, side, now from here stay, stretch your legs up, hands to the side of your body, this is a little bonus for those of you who want to try, you're going to do a roll over, and you're going to roll it back down, okay, let's try four more, hinge, roll it over, and roll it back down keep moving your body guys lift up exhale curl hold it there exhale melt it down breathe in and again two more curl it over squeeze the ball as you soften your chest and melt the body back one more hinge roll it over breathe in and exhale to soften the entire body down and reach the legs out, bend and stretch. Whew. Good job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that so far. We are almost done. We just got two more segments to go. All right, let's get up onto our knees now. And our next exercise will be for the buttocks and the hamstrings again. All right, so from here, we're going to start with your self kneeling to the edge of the mat. Your ball is going to be very close to your thighs. Now from here, we're going to walk over, okay? And then I'd like you to get yourself into a position where your arms are on the ground, but your legs are off the ground. So roughly, the hips will be at the center of the ball. Now, once you're here, I'd like you to bend your elbows a little bit so that your lower body, so that your body is lowered down and your legs are higher up there. So turn up your thighs, bring the legs down for now. Now pick up one leg off and down. And two, we call this a single leg extension. Three, four, take your time. Five, six, keep the weight equal on your two hands. Seven, eight, and change sides. Reaching one, keep your legs turn out. Two, three, four. Reaching seven and eight. Now from here, two legs together, lifting up one. Lower, two, really engaging your glutes to lift the legs up. And four, make sure your abdominals are supporting you so that your lower back is not feeling the strain. Yeah? And reach, and eight. Let's do two more, nine. And 10. Now from here, stay there. We're going to do the froggy. Maintain your turn up. Bend your knees into a plie. Stretch the legs out and close. Bend. Reach out and close. Three. Stretch and close. Four. Stretch and close. Five. Stretch and close. Reverse. Open. Bend and squeeze the legs together. Open, 
bend and reach it out. Keep your legs turned out. Bend and stretch it out. Four. Bend, stretch it out. Five. Bend and stretch it out and stay. Take a deep breath in now. Go back a little bit more to make sure that your hips are still on the ball. Lower your body a little bit more and let's finish with some swimming. We're going to keep the upper body stable and then rapidly move your legs and here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Core muscles tight for five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. In, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. In, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, forty. Last one, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Stay there. Lift your legs up and stretch and push away and then coming back down and slowly walk your hands back and give your back a short break well done guys we are almost done back to a kneeling position right at the edge of the mat now from here we're going to take a breath to walk over your body now walk your hands all the way to the opposite end of the mat now stabilize your body and bring your legs together now we call this the Omega so we're gonna keep your elbows slightly soft to support and make sure your biceps are involved in this now from here we're gonna tuck our tail under round the spine and pull the knees and hence the ball in towards you from here we're gonna lengthen and unravel the spine into a straight plank and again curl from the tailbone pulling the knees and the ball in rounding the spine and a stretch and reach out into a straight line exhale curl for three forming the omega shape at the top inhale to lengthen and release now guys try to challenge yourself to go slower so that you're a little bit more in control and go curled up five and inhale to stretch can we th try three more and six inhale to lengthen and curl for seven inhale to straighten one more and exhale eight and inhale to return now everyone take a breath in for a while we're going to try to do the obliques okay let's just do four sets and see how it goes from here we're going to bring the same position of the body back up and bring the ball to the left wrist inhale stretch the center Exhale now to the right wrist. Breathe in and stretch. Exhale three. Inhale lengthen. Exhale four. Breathe in to stretch. Curl up five. Breathe in to stretch. Reach to the opposite side. Lengthen. One more set to go. Rounding the body. Inhale to stretch. This really requires a lot of concentration and control. Stay there. Now walk your hands back and give your wrist a little break first. Shake it out. Good. You're almost done, guys. Just one more to go for today. All right. We're going to finish with the pike. The pike is very similar to what we just did with the omega, but the knees are straight this time around. And you're working deeply from the hip flexors and the core muscles to push your hips up into the air let's finish strong today here we go so walk your hands forward again bring your ball roughly to where your knees and your shin bone are okay now from here we're going to press away from the mat legs squeeze tight together and take a breath in exhale forward the hips and lift one and out reach up two let's aim to get the ball to our ankles Exhale, lift up three. Breathe into control. And drop your head as you lift the bum. Lengthen back down. Reach it up, five. Control. Higher up, six. And down. Reaching up, seven. Breathe in. And one more, and hold it there. And coming back down to the center. And recover. Woo. Good job, everybody. You did it. All right. Let's finish up with some stretches. I'd like you to just sit down with your legs wide apart. 
from here, hands on top of the bowl. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, roll down and stretch forward. Take a breath. Exhale to roll up. Lengthen from tail to the hip. And again, breathe in. Exhale, nod your chin and flex forward and stretch. Inhale to stay. Exhale to roll up. Lengthen. Now shifting the ball to one side. And then with the outside hand, we're going to roll the ball forward and stretch. Roll yourself up. Breathe in. Exhale, nod your chin and reach the ball a little bit further away. Exhale to lengthen up. And last one, and curl and reach a little bit deeper. Push the ball and release and recover. Changing sides. Opposite arm coming on top of the ball now. Breathe in and exhale to roll away. And exhale to lengthen up. Breathe in. Exhale, roll forward and stretch the ball too. And roll it up. And one more time and stretch. And coming back to the center. Breathe in and recover. Good. And you are done for today. Take care, guys. Good job for doing this with me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.